Hello survivors and hunters, I'm the Survival Vis, and welcome to our very first peak or experience with Prehistoric Hunt. Now this is a new game that just went into early access or launched into early access just a couple of days ago or so, which is almost like a modern imagining of carnivores. Now I played the demo of it, and I have to admit the demo didn't exactly surprise or make me hopeful of the game because it didn't feel quite like a hunting game. It was more shooter and there were dinosaurs on an island you just kind of shot at. What changed my mind a little bit was as the early access came out, I noticed something specific that made me a bit more attentive. And that was an organ chart of the dinosaurs. So it seems like they are actually implementing proper like hit zones on them. So even if it's an early access and it's going to be rough around the edges, if there is a devotion to kind of truly flush out the hunting side more than it just being a dinosaur shooter, Prehistoric Hunt has my attention, and I want to give a little hands-on so we can see what it's going to be like and how it's going to be. I'm just going to set things down to high, just to see, because it also was that... Uh, we'll do full screen window, I suppose. When I did play it last time, it did need a bit of optimizing, so I'm going to try to keep it to just set it down to high see how it plays a bit and we'll just see how this is i haven't actually tried this release myself i've only tried that demo which was probably quite a bit old so hopefully there's been some more changes improvements over that so i guess we'll just create game um i guess we'll do solo 338 i guess we'll start So the dinosaur models are have been looking pretty good in all right. The animations are all right as well. It comes more into what is fundamental to any proper hunting game or attempt at making a hunting game, which is the systems and mechanics that are going to make or break the experience, in my opinion. Like, as you may have been able to see recently with something like, look at Dave Dragons. You can have fancy models and a fancy map, but if the mechanics and systems are not in place... It's not really that much to be able to boast about, so... Yeah, like, the map, it's not too bad to start with. Okay, there's no zoom on that, so... Looks like a rifle. Pistol. Ooh, although... That could use some improvements, because that is real, Really weird with some of the weapon movements. And something out that way. Doesn't tell us exactly what that is. Fairly large map, which is good. But we'll just go along and see. Like, the map, again, it looks alright. There's nothing I can really say to add or take away. There is a crouch. There is a jump. We don't have that much for ammo. Oh, you actually have to hold crouch? Is there an option to change that? No. Actually, there's no real options for changing the controls, is there? Oh, no, there is, so, yeah. Walk around, that's about the same. Shoot, aim, hold breath. Okay, there is a hold, which is Q. What are... Okay, so that's already one improvement I've just seen, is that it seems like the end well, maybe the animations could use a bit of improvement, but the dinosaurs do mostly run off. This guy did get hit, so he was coming to us, but I think maybe just an improvement there would be to... There we go. I There is some more information, because, like, is that supposed to be the... Lo no, it says stomach. So... There's no lungs on the or or on the chart right now, so I think the lungs might be something could squeeze more up here and stomach. I probably say more like um, it's kind of hard to say because of how this is, but I mean it's not bad to start. The only thing is, I don't know how you exactly get more 
more ammo, because we're going to be out of that pretty soon. Uh, oh, I have an inventory. Which caused a little freeze. Okay, so there's not really much I can work with right now. What else is there in here? Player list, inventory, HUD, stats, interact. Not that much, so... I guess we'll just have to work... Okay, yes. Well, there's that so far. Is there something to inspect here? Oh! Okay, that's interesting. So, if I get up here... I didn't actually know there's going to be a tracking system. So, that's another thumbs up I gotta give. Like, that's something... If you... Yeah? Okay, so... It might be a little... Nope. Okay, I'm sighing a bit, but... You might need to increase the distance you might be able to see the tracks from, but the fact that there's already an attempt in place is very good. I have to give you accommodations for that. Again, I don't exactly understand how to restock or get more ammo. So I don't know if it's just like you drop in and out often or what. Because there's not really, like, an inventory. Oh, and here's another one. Yeah, like... Time and it tells you what it was doing. And that's already something the hunter doesn't do, is to give you a good idea of time frame unless... Well, even with the droppings, you don't get a good time frame of how long it might have been, so... Even with it being early access, you guys are starting off on a good foot forward, and you're showing that you want to get more systems in place. Again, I think maybe just a slight improvement as to how far you can go... ...or, like, how easy it is to see where other footprints are would be very good. But I, so far, can't complain too much. And do I have binoculars or not? No, it doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to be stuck with kind of like going by what we see. Oh, another track here. Okay, this is another Triceratops print. It was pointing this way. And it does seem more than five minutes. Or was that less than? God, for some reason my brain stopped working there for a moment. Oh! Something just beeped at me. I don't know what... What just beeped. Oh, okay. Jumping is really weird in the game. Now it's not. Oh, maybe it's because I got stuck on the model there. Like, I got stuck in the tree, so that was kind of keeping me sort of aloft there. I do see another trike over there. Or I had. And we do actually have a health... Well, not a bar, per se, but we do have so much health to us. There's another beep. I don't know if it's just an audio bug or what. S really? Registering stomach again, so I basically have to really aim for the front leg there. But, uh, again, I don't know any way of restocking on ammo. Oh, and we do have a sprint. And it is quite a long bar. That's not bad, I suppose. I... I just do hope there's a way I can, like, figure out how I can restock, or... something like that. 
So it is actually impressing me a bit from the demo. I, I can say it has definitely improved quite a ways there. Oh. Okay. That. No, something made some noise over this. No, oh, okay. Odd kind of things going on with the sky, but that's not the biggest draw, so... Yeah, it's definitely stepped up from what the demo was. The demo really seemed to be an incredibly rough version of things. I'm glad to see that they improved that, and there is much more focus into the experience of hunting. I do think for the tracking, my advice would be increase the distance you can see those like little icons of the magnifying glass at. And uh, I'd almost take a bit of a cue from Hunter and almost make like a cone of travel in a way. So that way you can kind of say like, okay, there's this track. It was going this general vicinity. So if I keep walking, I might see another one of those tracks. That's not something that you have to make it like a very large icon or anything like that. If possible, maybe only have it come out if you're looking at that specific track. But just a little something so that way you can sort of go along and track things a bit easier. And there does seem... Okay, it looks like there will be night hunting in the game because we do have a flashlight and the time of day is changing on us. It's getting rather dark. I shouldn't say rather... Oh! We've also got... Something else. Looks like possibly a uh, pteranodon or something. It's just that it's kind of, well, stuck up there. So, if he's stuck up there, maybe... Uh, probably shouldn't be able to climb up this, but looks like we're going to be able to anyway. Oh, well, kind of. I guess there are certain slopes that we can't go up on. But we do got something up here. It's a pteranodon of some kind. Uh oh. And I don't have any ammo in anything, so... Yeah, I don't have any way of being able to fight back, so this is, I guess, going to be it for us. Heck, slowly to death by this guy. Okay, so if I hit respawn... And we have no ammo again. I can tell you ex the very starting thing to focus on right now, which will be figuring out a way to... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try for a run and see if we can get to that spot. Definitely a way of restocking yourself to hunt more. Because, again, I died, I respawned, and now I have no ammo. And didn't really seem to, like, gain or collect anything from what I hunted either. So, I don't... I know it's very early access release, and it's just a few days. So, that's something to definitely begin focusing on just getting that in. Because... In order to, I think, develop with an early access game, you need to provide enough for sort of like a gameplay loop so that people will play it more and then be able to provide you with more information on where you should, like, focus and develop with things. Let's see, again, the only weird, like, landmark on our map, so we'll head for that. I just have no way of... Being able to restock us. Yeah, work in progress. So that is something we'll have to eventually work at. Okay, I think... We'll see how long it takes to make this distance up. Because I don't think there's really going to be much more hunting I can do, given that we have no ammo. But maybe if we get to this landmark, we'll find something? I think it's a landmark anyway. Like, my biggest 
worry as I was thinking about when I first played the demo and then was debating whether I would pick up the early access of Prehistoric Hunt was, is it actually going to be a fleshed out hunting sim like we've seen with the hunter, carnivores, um, actually those are kind of the only hunting games that are coming to mind for me, I'm afraid. Well, I guess some Cabela's games have been as well, it's just that those are no longer made. Wait, you're... Yeah, you're the one we hunted. Okay, so you just stick around, huh? Well, that's, I guess, good to know in a way, because that means our ways... Hopefully not going to be as dangerous to this landmark. And then, yeah, it still tracks about. But anyway, with the demo, I was afraid it was more just going to be, oh, you're on a one of those, like, $5 games, or not even $5, or it shouldn't be $5, where pretty map, and there's just random things around you. Shoot, 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 and that's the end of it. At least here, you do have aspects in place, such as the tracking system, the vital system. Things like that, which are going to be added, improved, and developed on. So, it is good to see that things are going to be coming forward. Wait, did I just somehow jump, like, 300 meters in a few, like, steps? So I don't think it was that far away before. That was, like, at 18-something. Okay, well, yeah, so we're probably going to go back up the mountain range because we have to go basically around this lake here. I don't know if we can swim or not, and I don't want to test the theory with the time I'm working at. So we'll go for some mountain climbing to get over, and then towards where we gotta go. But this... The first hands-on has left me hopeful for the game. There is still some room for improvement, such as, again, just like the... How you restock what other weapons there might be, how you get more ammo. But all in all, I can see that there is potential here, and with the improvements from the demo, it makes me more hopeful than I was. So Prehistoric Hunt is definitely one we'll be keeping our eye on through its development cycle. Giving what feedback we can here or there with as we kind of get more time with the game and more improvements and work gets finished and kind of completed for it. Okay, so let me take a look at the map. So, we basically want to start cutting through the mountains. So, I'm not sure what to expect. I don't know if there's going to be, like, just a dot on the map, or if there's, like, a building that almost acts like a shop or something. It's kind of hard to say exactly what this might be. And I'm hoping because we don't shoot anything, it'll be just a... It might take a while, but we can get there in due time to see what this is. Okay, good thing is, too, that the sprint bar doesn't come back rapidly fast. So you will have to monitor, and you can't just keep running forever, or run, stop, run, stop, run, stop, and then... Just kind of cheese it in a way, so that's a nice thing to have. You're not going to be able to outrun anything that's really, really after you. I wonder if there's fall dam. Oh, I guess we're going to find out, won't we? Okay, there is, but thankfully, I guess we slid down, so we just scraped ourselves a bit. That was going to suck to go all that way just to slip and then die. And thankfully, I don't hear anything else really about, so... It should hopefully be just an easy and straightforward walk to whatever this thing is. Yeah, must have been... Jumps 
The jump now isn't bad. I don't think there will be super much you'd use it for, but it must have been just that when I was... Oh, that's not good to hear. Especially not when we have no ammunition. Oh. Although, there is another dinosaur that we can spot almost like... Actually, a couple of them looming over there. So there are some Brachiosaurs. Oh. What just happened? They, like, fell over dead. What the hell? I don't think that was supposed to happen. And, yeah, that's still at the same location. Okay, I don't see anything around, so I'm going to investigate a bit more on why these guys just look like they died. I don't know if... Could the animals attack each other? Okay, I don't see anything around us. Oh. Never mind, I... Okay, so... T-Rex behind us! I don't know if it saw us or not. No, 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 apparently if you... Okay, I don't know if it actually knows where we are or not. I, it's definitely approaching. Or it seemed to be. I was going to inspect the Brachiosaurus because it does seem like they died somehow. Okay, yeah, right there. You can kind of see him looming about down there. Now, whatever rafter is, looks like it's up here. So I at least think we're safe from the T-Rex being this far up. Oh, yeah, there it is. So it does seem like it hasn't picked us up. So it's not like the dinosaurs are laser guided and will be entirely after you as soon as you're within their area. Which is, again, very good to see in a hunting game. Let's just get our way up here. Oh, come on. Because whatever this thing is, we are very close to it now. We'll be with... Oh! A radio tower? What the... Okay, well, here we go, kind of. So, you're going to... Okay, but where is, like, the ammo packs, just in general? Like, we only have 50 there. There are contracts, but... I feel like you were supposed to spawn here, rather than where we were. Ooh! Iguanodon is one we can hunt too, and Trandon. Okay, so I kind of see how it's going to work now. Is, I think when you drop in, you're supposed to drop by basically a place you could pick up contracts for certain dinosaurs. So then you'll take a mission up, go hunt it, and then kind of see how you do from there. My issue, you know what, I'm going to buy the rifle. I don't think it'll do anything. Yeah, I don't have any more ammo. Yeah, that's one thing that will have to be done or adjusted, but I kind of understand it more now of what I think the goal is. When you spawn in, you'll spawn beside one of these things. You'll pick up contract off that specific animal, return it, and then you can buy things like 
a more powerful rifle, uh, crossbow, trank crossbow. We do need just the simple ammo for the pistol and the rifle here, but I think there's enough there now to be able to kind of show what might be ahead. So I would say just watch this one for now, and as updates come in and more functionality is added to the game, maybe look picking up then, because potential's here and they are following up on it as well. So, so far it's looking promising, but it is lacking some things right now. In the meantime, though, thank you all very much for joining me on this sneak peek at Prehistoric Hunt. A little bit of a random toss-in, but I figured I'd cover it given it is almost a modern reimagining of carnivores in a way. So, until I see you all next episode, those survivors and hunters alike, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.